Be faithful in whatever God has put in your hand. Be faithful. There is nothing too small. You don't pray to grow big, you manage to grow big. You don't pray to grow big. As far as Jesus is concerned, his definition of bigness is faithfulness. As far as Jesus is concerned, if you are faithful in a few, you are already considered to be faithful in a big thing. Not that he will give you a big thing. For being faithful in small, he has already qualified you for the big. That's why for me, I don't pray for big things. I only manage small things faithfully. Pastor in a church of seven people, faithfully. In my little pastorate, nobody ever passed through me without feeling being pastored. If you leave me, you miss me. By reason of pastoring. And that's what we should do. Business people. You are handling 500,000 for your business. Be faithful as if you are handling 500 million. Pastors who are here tonight, don't look at the attendance of the church with an eye of despise. Some years back, I asked a pastor to do a statistics of our growth for us. And he wrote in a note, he said, last month, we, in, we had a slight increase of 13 people. I called him, I said, you want to lose your job? God went into 13 houses and brought 13 additional people to church and you only slight increase? Don't slight God if you don't want him to slight you. Don't ask what is this if you don't want it to remain as it is. God gave the children of Israel bread. He said, I will rain down for you bread. What did he say? We'll give to them bread. He opened a new kitchen, new ovens. And every morning was giving them a fresh oven baked bread. And when they saw it, you know what they said? Manna. Manna means, what is this? And God answered them, that is it. So for 40 years, the menu was not changed. They were eating the same thing every day for 40 years. There was no change in the menu. Don't ask God, what is this? Otherwise, it will remain as it is. Get back home tonight, somebody. Dance in your room and parlor. Enter your jalopy car. Get excited inside it. That's how we dance our way from the little where we were as Dunamis International Gospel Center from small place to a big place today and from this big place to a bigger place and from this bigger place to another bigger place give God a big hand somebody okay Bishop David Abiyoye just left step down from Winners Chapel it has been glorious his stay and in this video he mentioned how he has been faithful how faithful he was and how it has been with david bishop with bishop david Oyedepo. so i want to know your thoughts what do you think do you think living was not nice or is it going to open his ministry